Gunshots rang through the woods in Chippewa County this weekend, not for hunting, but for historical reenactment of a World War II battle. Kelly Schlicht was there on the front lines and has the story of how these men are trying to pervert, preserve history by living it. We call ourselves history buffs on steroids. You're actually carrying the stuff, sweating when you run, falling down, firing the weapons. These are the combat boots that members of the 117th Infantry Regiment Reenactment Group put themselves in this weekend. All to better understand what the men and women who fought in World War II experienced. Those folks really went through a lot, and they did it half a world away. Among the ranks, a veteran of the Iraq War, who says the military may have upgraded equipment, but the fundamentals have stayed the same. The spirit of the American GI is, from what I've been able to tell, has pretty well always been the same, you know. We're fighting for a cause we always thought was just or, you know, doing what our country asked us to do. Nothing more, nothing less. Those playing the Germans say they put the politics of the past aside and portray their characters as the average foot soldier. Uh, to honor all the veterans on, on all sides who had to actually do this. And when the stage battle of Hurtgen Forest is over, these soldiers say they've gained more respect for World War II veterans. I have just the utmost appreciation for the guys that were actually out there on the front lines. I mean... Where uh, back then, the, especially in the European theater, they were there until it was over. Yeah. But they're glad they won't have to bunk another night in these authentic tents. And you're actually glad at the end of the day that you can go back home. They couldn't. That was Kelly Schlicht reporting. Thanks, Kelly. Most of the reenactors are from the Chippewa Falls area and Minnesota. Only blanks were used in the battle. If you would like to learn more about the tactical battle, we'll have more information on our website, weau.com.